Hey guys, welcome back to Clash with Corey. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Also, check out the details of my videos when you get a chance. I've got a lot of good resources for you in there. I've got a link to my Discord server if you want to come hang out with me. i got a link to WHF's recruiting Discord server if you're interested in joining the WHF family. also got links to WHF's live streamers if you want to see uh, WHF Wars going down live. Uh, follow our live streamers and get a notification when they're streaming. You can hop on and see some of these crazy finishes we're having in CWL Invite. So let's get into uh, today's video and first of all I apologize I am still very sick I'm definitely gonna cough at some point in this video maybe even a lot uh, I'm on a, like all the cough medicine in the world but it's still probably gonna happen uh, you know it was either that or, or don't make a video so I chose to make a video uh, it's gonna be all about lava loon different types of lava loon kind of with an emphasis on which one's the easiest kind of mid-level and then the hardest to master and uh, we're gonna get into that stuff right now so we're gonna start out with a wrecker lalo attack this one's gonna be done by sous chef kiki and he does a really beautiful attack here the reason i'm showing this one first is if you're new to lalo or if you're trying to get better at lalo uh, the the lava loon portion of it this is what i would try first uh definitely gonna be a wrecker lalo the reason being you're gonna take out a lot of that base with your heroes and wrecker entry and so the the whatever lava loon is left it's gonna be less you know what i mean it's gonna be less spells uh less stuff to keep track of better pathing just easier lalo in general that being said, if you're in a competitive clan and you're facing a lot of Lava Hounds and CCs, you don't want to use this as a fresh hit. If you're not really ever seeing Lava Hounds and enemy CCs, go ahead and use this as a fresh hit all you want. Because, uh, you know, you don't want to send your queen in to deal with that enemy hound if it's there. She gets caught up and, and really loses a lot of value. So he's got a pretty complex one here. Usually your Wrecker Lalo is going to look something like two baby dragons for funneling, uh, you know, just heroes going in and then uh you know two hounds seven to ten or five to ten minions and the rest loons so he's got something a little bit different going on here you see there over on the right he used a baby dragon to tank two archer towers while he sent in two loons on each archer tower and took out all three of those defenses over there that's going to help him out with his with his funnel in a little bit and with his lalo portion later on as well so he's got a bowler bounce coming in up top. Cut in that part of the funnel. Make sure the heroes don't walk around up top there. Now he's got a wrecker coming in. Sends in a single loon after that Tesla that popped up there. Try and get it taken care of. Oh, excuse me, it was two loons. And uh, now heroes and, and a few bowlers are coming in behind. Enemy CC is out. He's got a poison down on it. Um, King went in. Now the Queen's kind of going in this channel, which is just fine because she's going to reach another air defense from in there and she'll step over to follow that enemy CC and still grab a lot of value. So has his rage down on his King and his Valks there. Uh, kind of hoping they would break that other compartment as well, but... So anyways, at this point, hold on, I'm going to pause right here. Look how much of this base is already gone. All right, and we just really have a nice little L-shaped path through the rest of this base for the Lalo. So that's why I recommend practicing with this one if you're trying to get better at Lalo because it's going to be easier to practice. So now we're starting the Lalo portion. He still hasn't popped his queen right yet, but he's going to direct target this single target Inferno with a group of loons, like five or six loons. He's bringing those in before the Hound because the single target Inferno locks onto the Hound. It's just going to pop it really quick. But if you distract it with those loons and target it with those loons first, those loons are actually tanking that single for the Hound, and that way the Hound has time to tank for all the other loons coming in behind. So he's got, uh, he had a Hound down, come down on the other side with loons behind as well. Haste on the edge, to kind of speed loons in there. And just like that, most of this base is already gone. As he's coming into this last section, I'm going to pause it, really dangerous last section. There was three wizard towers in that last section. So he gets a rage down first. I might even put a heal down first. Uh, but he, you definitely want to make sure a heal is in your composition for areas like that to cover those multiple wizard tower areas and such. Uh, otherwise, they're going to wreck a big pack of loons. So he gets a rage heal down there. Now those two loons that he saved for that mortar right there were just a skosh lay, but the idea is you send those loons in on the edge defenses, take them out so that the middle group doesn't have to stray out of the base. They can keep moving their way through. 
And just like that, this bass is wrecked. It was it was really beautiful, Lalo. It was kind of an odd one, you know, uh, the way he was ended on three wizard towers, but he, he definitely conserved his spells and handled it beautifully. I really like the touch at the beginning where he tanks for his hound with the loon. So that's, you know, you don't see, that's the only instance where you really would, would, would do that, and it doesn't come up very often, uh, but really well done there. So yeah, if you're if you're learning Lalo, stick to the record Lalo army. It's definitely the easiest because uh, you're gonna take out a lot of that base with your entry with your heroes. Uh, so, so you're not gonna have as much Lalo left over. It's a lot easier to learn on. So with that, let's get into our second attack. This is gonna be kind of like level two on the difficulty scale. We're gonna take a look at credits attack on number twenty nine. It's gonna be a Sui Lalo with a blimp. But he's going to use that blimp first. All right. He's going to use that blimp first uh, to get some value. Just just ahead of the whole attack. Sends in a couple loons behind it. Going to probably drop a haste spell down on it there. And the other thing this does is it draws out the enemy CC if it can target air troops. So this is a really good option. I'm going to pause it. This is a really good option on fresh attacks if you're in somewhere where you might, might uh, have a hound CC. Because if you're using a blimp with loons to send in to figure out what's in that enemy CC and also take out a chunk of the base at the same time, if it is a hound and a loon, they're not even going to come out. You're never going to have to deal with them. So if it is a damaged CC, like this CC must have been a dragon and three loons. So the three loons don't even come out, but the dragon does. So he's going to deal with that with this hero portion. But that's why he led with the blimp, uh, with the little blimp squad there first, was so that he could draw those, if it was a damaged CC, he could draw it over to his heroes and kill it. Now, you don't get quite as good a pathing usually with this attack, but since you're using that blimp first, at the beginning of the attack, it's really a staged attack. That's why I put it level 2 on the difficulty. Like, I can, I can do this attack, so it's not crazy hard. So it gets his heroes down, uses the king first to tank for, first of all, the enemy CC and some of those defenses. And the queen in behind to kill the enemy CC, and then also to reach over the wall and grab as many of those defenses as she can. Pretty sure he wanted that first wizard tower there. Might have wanted both those wizard towers, actually. He's gonna she's gonna reach around the corner and get another wizard tower though, so that's nice. So he's left with kind of a funky shape here. Uh to go ahead and hit with Lava Loon. He goes in and sends a, a separate group of loons over to that wizard tower, like probably four or five of them in there, so he can get it taken care of, and that way he's not trying to end on it with a whole pack of loons. Really good plan there. And here, let's just back up. This is a really funny attack. So he pre-swags three haste over there. Poor guy. You know he had loons selected, and he was getting ready, and he was just like, oh, my God, what did I do? That's all right, man. He's going to wreck the base anyway. So when you still three-star, even though you accidentally drop spells, we call that pre-swag. <laughs> So gets a rage down in there pretty quick. He did have a skelly queen kill in there. Um, that's why I used that rage so early. And, uh, you know, kind of hasting it on the edges. He's got a ton of loons for this base. Did a really good job tanking with the hounds. And he's still got just a huge pack of loons up. Unfortunately, he's only got a heal left at this point. Uh, so he's going to be patient with that. You know, as long as he can. And at this point, loons are falling, so he wants to get that, that whatever's left in there healed up as much as possible coming into those last few defenses. It's going to work out well for him. That baby dragon in the comp was great, man. It did. It stayed up the whole raid. He ended up putting it down up here after his blimp, just kind of get rid of some of that trash, maybe a little extra free funneling, run in and grab an extra defense if it could. Um, but really nice attack for credit there, considering the fact that he pre-swagged three hastes. And uh, once again, level two on the difficulty scale, and you're going to see why on the next attack. Next attack, we're going to take a look at Emiliano's beautiful Sui Lalo on number 20. I'm just going to admit to you guys right now, I can't do this. It's too many moving parts. So it's basically the same composition as, as last attack, but it's going to be run differently. Um, he already... I believe he already knew it was in this CC. I'm not sure. 
because he doesn't really worry about trying to pull it or anything like that. It is a hound and a loon in this CC. So he's going to use his heroes first to get value. And then after that, but I mean, heroes can only get so much value. He is going to get the queen kill on it. That's really nice. And then a few defenses over here as well. But you're going to see from what's, there's a lot of base left. And he's got a blimp with some max loons in it, which is great. Uh, but that is so many moving parts to keep track of in a Lalo. Once you have to do the hounds, the hound drops, the, the loon drops, the spell drops, and remember to freaking pop that blimp at the same time. That's a lot of stuff, man. I just, I haven't got the hang of it yet. It's too many moving parts. Uh, I still keep practicing. I'll get it. I will. But right now, oh my gosh, so many moving parts involved. It's crazy. Uh, for me, when I'm practicing it, I usually forget something. I either pop the blimp way late. And I see this with a lot of guys too, a lot of really experienced guys. It's a lot to handle. So a lot of times we're seeing that blimp popped way late. Uh, very high level of difficulty. Or, you know, for me, when I'm practicing it, I'll, I'll be so focused on popping my blimp on time, I'll be late on all the rest of my drops or forget to drop my, my second hound ever, you know. Uh, so really high level of difficulty here. Emiliano's going to pull it off beautifully. Just like I said, brings in those heroes. Now, he chooses to use his freeze right there because his queen was taken some fire and the enemy queen hadn't stepped up yet. He didn't want to pop his queen's ability until she stepped up to make sure he could kill her. So we used that freeze on the defenses that were targeting her just to save her long enough for that queen to step up. Then he could pop his ability to kill her. Really nice clutch freeze there. I, you know, I, I think that was just a utility freeze, maybe planned for sweepers or wherever he needed it, but he definitely needed it there. Just, I mean, while I was talking about that, he's already got so many freaking haste. He's got most of his hounds, loons dropped in and got that blimp popped on time. That's, it's so fast. It is crazy fast getting all that stuff done on time. So has a heal for this final section, which is good because that's a really dangerous section. Luckily, he's got a lot of loons coming into it, but definitely needed that heal. Also needed that haste to get through it. Just to heal alone is not going to get him through all that stuff. Um, so getting him up to full health and then, then hasting him through all the rest of that stuff is absolutely key. So going to be kind of close. I, just because he missed this expo with that first group, you know, he had not, you know, with this attack, with just heroes getting value, you're not going to cut that defensive ring. So pathing's a lot more difficult. And uh, maybe should have gone just a little bit heavier with the loons on that first group. I think a Tesla kind of caused him to path maybe away from getting that expo all the way too. Um, but... Man, what a crazy complex attack. Hats off to him for being able to pull it off. I know a lot of guys out there, you know, can pull it off. Not me yet. Not me at all. So, unfortunately, uh, Queen does step into range and pull that hound. So his minions do have to deal with it. Minions and pups. But he's got more than enough. They win the battle. And he wins the battle as well. So with that, um, those are like three very basic types of lava loon in order of difficulty and I, I hope you can see why that one i believe is the most difficult so many moving parts to keep track of it's crazy but i did not have an example to show of queen charge lalo uh queen charge lalo is also very difficult but it's a lot different the lalo portion not as difficult your queen charge takes care of a lot of that base so as far as the lava loon difficulty I'd say it's up there with, you know, close to the record Lalo because uh, she takes out a lot of that base and, and does a lot, of, a lot of pathing for you as well. But the queen charge portion of it is an entirely separate skill that's also very difficult to learn. So that one's kind of like it's a very difficult attack. Yes, definitely. Um, but the Lalo portion of it alone, not very difficult. So, you know, I hope that kind of summed it up for you guys if you're still learning lalo uh you know or still practicing or getting better at it i would i would stick with the record lalo until you're until you're very proficient with that before moving on to some of the more difficult varieties uh that have you know a lot more difficult pathing and 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 then you know popping that blimp in the middle of a raid you know then you've got so many moving parts it gets crazy you know but it's doable it's doable i'm gonna get it and you guys are gonna get it too i hope you liked the video and i'll see you in the next one